Welcome back to the League's 3 series in which I go for the metamorphic dust for my omelette and try to become the first person in the entire community to get it. And this video is insanely packed with content, 10 days worth of absolute grinding. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's, it is packed. If you do enjoy it, definitely give it a like at the very least. I appreciate it and maybe consider subscribing for a lot more action packed content. No way! Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? Freaking 1KC. Real Fighter's Essence. Remember, in the main game, it took me like 650 kills to get this. Yeah? Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel or just didn't know about this Moss Giant Grind arc on my main Iron Man, let me just show you something in the collection log, okay? I'm gonna type my name in here, okay? Look at what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So one of the biggest upgrades I can get for my challenge mode raid setup in this league is definitely the Thrall Relic. Because the Thrall Relic, from what I've gathered, tremendously increases the challenge mode raid efficiency. Which is really good because the dust grind, we could be there for a long, long time. So saving minutes at a time potentially with just this relic alone is going to be worth it. So I'm trying to get it off Sarachnus, one of the best places right now. Oh, I got it. Yes, this is it. This is Thrall's. Yes. The Thrall Relic can hit a max of 12 once I get to level 3. So I got to train it as much as I can. So I'm just going to train it while I'm bossing. All right. Kill 1,000. <clears throat> Big boy 1,000. Holy crap. We're officially over. Three times dry. Damn. All right. I'm taking a break. That, that was a good milestone. At least I have some uh, I have some new setups though. We got the war blessing for uh, challenge war raids, so. Yo, nice PB though. That's like a 40 second PB. Nice. 26-13. Not bad, not bad. Alright, any purples? Nice. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh! oh I got it! Bro, bro, I got it. I just got it. Oh my god, we got it. Dude, we actually got it. Let's go, bro. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god, we actually got it, dude. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god, dude. Wow, I, I, I don't think I give a shit enough uh, to get the Lance anymore, honestly. I'm, I'm happy to just leave Hydra to perfect 1000 KC, yo. If you've never seen this before, this is uh, how we do it. You just get this dust from Challenge Bro Raids, yeah? And then you use it on the omelette, yeah? That's it. And that's it. You sprinkle the dust over omelette. Congratulations. You may now metamorphosize them. Yep, buddy. Wow, that's a crazy... Uh, dude, that's a task. That's a fat task, yeah. Master task. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna log into next league with uh, Metamorphosize all my dude. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy, dude. That's actually crazy. Holy crap. Damn, bro. I can't believe you did it, though. We actually freaking did it. Holy moly, dude. So due to the fact that I have multiple series going on between grinding next on Mr. Iron Bar in the main game and Hardcore Group Iron Man with my buddies, there is definitely not enough time for me to stay in leagues too much longer. The main goal is the dust. Getting dragon rank is going to be something I'll forfeit this time around because we do need to catch up on next and hardcore group environment before race 3 comes out. But because I got the dust rather early, I'll definitely have a few days to mess around with leagues. There's a bunch of content that I haven't hit up that I would love to just for pure fun. Imagine leagues as an a amusement park, right? You want to hit up all the different attractions so there's a bunch of other bosses that i haven't hit up and i want to use the relics there and enjoy myself before i go so going forward in this video you'll see the rest of my pvm exploits and yeah it'll just be good fun and good gains to wrap up this league doing top after i'll do some because i want to do the speed test okay all right we finished the uh, 16 minute one i just want to get that out of the way whoa that's a lot of points sweet yeah i just want to do some of these fun tasks and then, uh, and then call it call it a day with leaks. But yeah, five hundred points, sweet.
Are you guys looking to spruce up your day-to-day -day browsing experience? Look no further because the Opera GX browser is here. Opera GX is designed for us gamers with slick features and integrations that consolidates everything we do, from communication to entertainment with gaming in mind. Let me show you. Browser Resource is an incredible system that reduces game lag by letting you control how much CPU and RAM your browser tabs are using. Bandwidth Control lets you control your tab's internet usage to maximize your in-game connection. Another great feature is the customization. On the top right, you can access the easy setup menu that allows you to quickly change the look and feel of the browser. Also, the GX Corner tab keeps track of all major games coming out. GX Corner features free games and great deals to save money on game purchases. Opera GX has other features too, and it's available on mobile as well. Give Opera GX a shot by clicking on the link in the description. It is time to enhance your browsing experience with Opera GX. So I'll still be doing some AFK scaling on the side just cause... Yeah, I don't really need to AFK anything else in the main game. I don't use Blood Runes at next, so yeah. And getting these points, it's still nice. Maybe keep room rank or something. We can make this now because I have Unchained Talent. And I'm going to put the stupid jar to remind myself ooh, that ooh. I did a, points. a thousand. Shit. I did a thousand Hydras and I didn't even get the claw and I don't care. Hey, look, there's there's Mama Dao, there's uh, Normal Dial, and then there's, there's Papa Dao. There it is. The three stages... So challenge mode raids is something I still want to do because I want to aim for 100 KC for the task, which is a nice stopping point. And every day I will be doing a bunch of different bosses to get a bunch of different upgrades that I can use here, which will be super fun. One of the best places to use new upgrades is definitely at raids. So every day I'll do a few chambers and work towards the 100 KC with new equipment. It'll be super fun. I'm on big fat PB right here. 2530. Let's go. Technically took you two years to get the dust. Yep. Yo, fat PB, 2536 into our purple. We don't need no lance, we can still PB either way. An Elder Maw, holy shit. Elder Maw, oh my god, oh my god. That's actually so good. Ooh, what? Wait, I'm so, dude, this is so troll. I have Kodai and an Elder Maw. Oh yes, come on. Come on, man. Alright, this should be it. This gotta be it. Oh, it's dead. So dead. That's a sub 42 right there, for sure. There we go. 32 seconds. Alright, Zora done. Moving on to forecast. I'm gonna just force this. Oh my goodness, you hit so hard. Alright, come on. One and done this, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's gotta be a one and done, right? Yes! 41 seconds. <sighs> oh my god. What? How many points did I gain from that? 500. Oh, yo, we just hit 30,000 uh, points. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get some learns keys because uh, some of my friends have inspired me to try and get myself some Dagon High robes. So that way it counts as a Zami item for magic and has really close stats to like that of Aram. So be really nice to have that upgrade so i'm just gonna do a few uh abyssal demon tasks uh superiors here give guarantee learns key and i have the you know the relic that gives me one in 30 superiors so this should go by really quick get a bunch of keys and try it give me that learns key oh i see it one of many hopefully give me more please all righty hey keys let's see what we get Is some idiot interrupting me oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> 1kc lair- What? <laughs> what the hell? 1kc. Oh my god. Some idiot just like wasted my time at the at the uh, place. So I had to leave early. Oh, what the f- What the hell? What? What the- What is going on? Okay, I'm just gonna finish this task and I'm done. Holy crap. I don't even need the bottoms, but okay. Oh my god, that that's insane. <laughs> okay, that was worth it, man. I just wanted to get the, the top so I can have that accuracy for mage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I got a whip. Yes, I really need one.
Because my tentacle was about to run out, and yeah, we're not getting the lance anyway, so. So I'm going to grind for a D-pick as well. Venatus is probably the easiest, just because of the F-bow, and I can also use Last Recall too to get back. So I can like rebank super quick. And yeah, the F ball Slayer task makes this ball so easy. I'm just using my God Wars setup relics, which involves double tab, absolute unit, and unholy ranger. So I can just hit stupidly accurate and rebound a lot of damage. Oh my god, a treasonous ring. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. That's points, but okay. <laughs> Hopefully I get a D pick soon. I'm just hopping worlds because uh, it saves like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds every time. Because uh, the respawn time takes a while, so yeah. Oh, giant pickaxe. Yes. Yes. We are done, boys. With 48 left. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, let's show you guys my new mage setup here. We upgrade a lot though. I gained about 20 something magic accuracy. But the Zami might, it should modify it, you know, by a lot. So. And also D pick upgrade as well. Very nice. Come on. Hit huge. Oh my god. 130. Holy shit. That was insane. 130, 127. Whoop. There it is. There's the Elder Maw in action, boys. Oh, 103. There we go. Holy shit. That's crazy, man. So I still have to train my Thrall Relics level 3 in order to use it at challenge modes. And the best place I thought of was actually at God Wars. I should get all the God Swords and all the armor and weapons for the points for fun. And yeah, with Zami Might, using magic, it's so easy, honestly. Armadale is just cake, and I don't take too much damage, so I can do a lot of kills before I have to bank. Oh, chest plate, let's go. Alright, just gotta get the helmet. Sweet. I'm so confused. Yo, my character literally just got jebated. I just want to finish this uh, this grind first. Oh, I got it! Yes! Hey, <laughs> we're done with Armadale. Let's go. Ooh, and it's dead. Perfect. Oh, I got it! Yes! Let's go. I told you guys, Ben. I told you. The strat. This is the, the strategy, boys. Uh -huh. All that's left is Sarah, actually. I just need a health and the... And the crossbow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why is it doing that? Oh, yes. There we go. Armadale crossbow. <laughs> Wait, what did I just do? Oh, yes. There it is. Thrall damage level 3. Yes. Finally. This is going to be pretty big. Because these guys kind of starting 12s. This should be an uh, interesting test at uh, challenge for race, but I'm going to finish Sarah first. Just got to get the hilt now. Should help with this as well. Yes, I finished Sarah. Let's go. There you go. Oh, yes. She is so good, though. All right, 90 crafting. So with, what do you call it? Unchained Talent, that's pretty much 98. So I can easily make some tortures and stuff. So I think I'm going to do that. going to get myself a Black Demon Tass and send some in a bit. Oh, I got a Zenith Shroud. Let's go. <laughs> Thankfully, it's really easy to get. Oh, yes. There we go. We're done. Wow, two Zenites already. <laughs> God dang, so easy. Alright. Alright, we got some new BISs now. Sweet. I'm gonna use this one at CMs. So I'm using the level 3 Thralls at Demonics right now for the last two Zenites. It's so good because if I summon the Mage one, right? I'm switching between melee and range. Sometimes the Mage Thrall will force it to pray Mage, which is nice because then I don't have to switch my weapon. I can just keep going with the Elder Maul for an extra turn. I like this spot better than the uh, the first spot in multi. The second room in multi is so nice. I got it. Yes. The fourth Zenit. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. We're done with the Zenit stuff. Oh, there we go. Just enchant this. Put this on. That should be all the Zenit jewelries. Um, yeah, I'll mainly use this one for the Infernal Speed Run. 
So now that Thrall Relics level 3, I can incorporate into my Challenge World Raid setup. Uh, now, because of that, I gain Chain Magic Passive Effect, 30% chance to proc Double Mage. Which means that my magic is more powerful. And of course, I get the bonus damage from Thralls, which maxes up to 12. And it will bypass the fence on the mobs and monsters, which is crazy. Uh, now, I do lose Absolute Unit 3, though, which means my... Damage reduction is only 30% now instead of 50%. So that means I can't get by anymore with the little food that I bring. So I need to bring a bit more food, but that's okay. I should be able to pick up a bunch of brews in a challenge mode. Normally, I just don't really pick up much brews, but now I will to compensate. But I should still be saving a lot of time because things will die faster. So the Elder Maul counts as a hammer for rock crab. So pretty neat. Holy crap, you can just bank all of that. That's insane. So... Oh my god, please don't one shot. Oh, shit. So with this new setup, my magic is so strong now, there's no reason to actually use my range gear until the end of the race where the ohm head, where you have to range. So I can just bank the range armor until then. It's really nice. I can pick up more food with the extra space. And also at Fossa, because I'm not ranging anymore, what I do is I just go straight under the boss and go for the crystal, which saves me time for having to go around as long as I redemption. And the kills are a lot faster consistently. Oh, sketchy. So I did all the boring tasks today that I was willing to do. And I got all the way to 36.7k. There's a bunch of other uh, quote-unquote easy tasks. But those just is either super annoying for me or just RNG. So I'm not going to bother with that. But uh, there's still some fun things I have left to do before um, I exit leagues. So we should be getting a... Bit more points, maybe a thousand plus more points for some of the bossing stuff that I'm going to be doing. So, like, some of these down here, like, just killing the bosses at least once, going for, like, a speed time. Those are the fun ones I can do, so. Oh, this could be a PB, actually. We're at 22 to 20 right now. Ah, right, we got it. Thralls is going to kill it. Nice, we actually got a PB. Sweet, 23-26. Okay, it's time to finish this uh, Infernal Speed task. It's 75 minutes, so uh, I reckon we should be able to do it. Got my freezes still for nibblers. Uh, I'm going to be, of course, ranging Zug, but I'll be mailing pretty much all the waves, though, for the most part. Twin Strikes, Absolute Unit, and Knife's Edge. So, this should hopefully work out well. Oh, man, the meta is just so broke. So, so ridiculous with these relics. You can just tank so much damage, it's insane. Holy crap. 4 HP, goddamn, SGS. Glad I got to use it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if BGS that was a good idea, but it certainly felt like it was. Oh no, I think I fucked it up. Oh god, now they're double hitting me. Whatever, I still got it though, it's fine. <laughs> Come on, yes. Nice. Wow, that was so fast. Oh my god, world record, Kappa. <laughs> Not even close. Alright, that's the task done. That's my Inferno career over, right there. Oh wow, that- Damn, 99 prayer already? What? <laughs> Did I just get 98? <laughs> oh wow. Okay, max combat combat. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I guess I'm done AFKing here. Hell yeah, that would be actually better than Serpent. Probably not. Damn, I just got 300 points off killing one Cerberus. Feels good, man. Elder Maul KO. Oh, look at that. That, that was like... I don't even know, man. That was, that was crazy. Oh, yes! Let's go! Ha! We're done! <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's... That's good enough for me. I just wanted to get one cool task done at Serp. Okay, next is Sire. Yay, wear this. Sweet. Uh, and back to Bandos Boots. Because Bandos meta too strong. Ooh, first on Sire. 26 KC. What we got? I'm gonna... Make my way downtown. Here we go. Oh, shit. All right. Well, I got a bludgeon piece. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. I'm I'm tempted to make the bludgeon. I, I would I would like to use that nightmare honestly. Oh shit. Okay. All right. I'm definitely committing to making the bludgeon. One hundred percent. Oh, sire. Let's go. <laughs> right on rate. Right on rate, boy. Well, under rate. Let's go. Let's go. It's the opening of a lifetime. I'm gonna get Where you baited, you? honestly. I'm gonna get you baited. Nah, you're gonna complete. You're gonna complete it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I have yeah. a feeling I will too. Nah, you completed. Oh, I did. See? Oh my e god, dude. Go. Chill, chill, dude. Your your oh, RNG's too you go. good. Called it. All right. Here we go. Equip bludgeon. Oh, look at that. So I'm working on some theater of bloods as well. Uh, every day, trying to get to 50 KC total. For the task and in hopes of getting some good drops obviously rape here and things like scythe would be amazing and fun to use for like the challenge mode raids and anything else that i want to do so yeah we gotta hit up some challenge mode uh theaters they have better rates and they're not that much harder uh in this league compared to the normal so it's it's pretty fun all right it's my turn all right please no just this year come on last three we're just to show my Whoa, 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 oh my god. What is going on? Uh, uh. Hello? So my friend on the outside of the maze trolled and he ran the maze ASAP without waiting for us for science and this is what happens. Oh, I got a purple. All right, come on. No just this year or likes. All right, if it's just this year, just give me likes. If not, whatever. You know what I mean? Just, just, oh. Five, five just this year pieces, bro. I'm done for the I'm done for the day. But congrats on the sanguine kit, man. Freaking absolute unit is absolutely stupid. I can basically blood barrage every clump in the Nidal room and the absolute unit damage will reflect the damage back to the hard mode version of Nylos because if you use the wrong style on them, it will recoil the damage back. But I'm also gonna recoil the damage back too. So, two can play that game. Whoa! Whoa! What the frick? Oh my god. Defender Holy Ornament Kit, Sanguine Ornament Kit. What the hell? I'm not even sure if these kits are even uh, increased rates. I don't think they are, dude. Mother trucking so tanky. Okay. Alright. That's pretty much all the bosses done at least once. Or at least, you know... Of the same variant. And there's only a few bosses I didn't touch. It's boring because I can't get the seed. And I can't be ass going. Grinding for that's not worth it. Screw that. And Kraken. For some reason, there's not a single Kraken boss kill task. There's like a 200 one. But everything else I've done uh, at least once. Which gave me some points. So yeah, that's leaves me at 39.7. Tomorrow I should end the league's grind at 40k. Minimum. Oh, I got a purple though. There we go. Come on. Rape here. Oh my god, I got a scythe. Holy shit. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Oh, that's sweet. I get to use this uh, for my last challenge mode rates. And, and also a nightmare, I guess. I was going to use the bludgeon, but there's really no point. <laughs> we get the scythe for the last day of uh, leagues. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. Imagine... We actually get to use the scythe, dude. That's crazy. I've actually never gotten a scythe in any leagues. I didn't get it last league, so. Whoa, you saw that? Oh my god. I just I just faced it with 22k XP drop. Good luck on the back-to-back. -back. Yo, imagine back-to-back -back scythe, dude. That would be insane, dude. Yo, damn, bro. What could it be? Oh my god, back-to-back -back scythe. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Dude, the odds of that is what about me? ridiculous. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Dude, scythe is disgusting. I'm hitting 20k drops like every time. Oh shit. Wait, I complete 50 theater of bloods? Oh, nice. We're at 40k points now. Sweet. Oh, I guess I did 9 normal tops. <laughs> and they count. They count towards uh, the total.
That was very nice. Damn, that was perfect. Ooh. That was some really good side transitioning, I guess. Oh my god, the scythe is insane. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell was that? That was absolutely disgusting, though. Holy shit. I mean, once you lower the defense of the hand enough, wow, the... Man, the scythe just be deleting stuff. Twenty six seconds. Okay, that was my fastest tecton of all time. Ooh, there we go. That phase took only a minute and one second. So with the scythe, I could theoretically probably do like a four minute ult challenge mode too. Well, one hundred KC for a purple, eh? Nice. There it is. One hundred challenge modes done. That was close to my PB in those five rates alone. We were getting some stupid fast times with the scythe. Like, some of these splits were like one minute phases. It was actually stupid. Ah, uh, yeah. Not sure, but good luck. Hopefully it is. If it isn't, then uh, try again. Oh, easy. Two minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> Holy shit. 375 points. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is just hit up some Fosani Nightmare because yeah, that's the last uh, major boss that I haven't done yet. And I got a bludgeon inside to mess with it and that's a wrap. Ah, I see. So it can't really kill me. Oh, look at this glitch with absolute unit. Oh my god. I can't actually die to it. It's actually stupid. <laughs> Unless uh, maybe 1 HP. Egg W, bro. Looks like there are more than one glitch. Uh, aside from absent unit, there is the reverse prayer delay glitch here. As you can see, I was praying mage and my mage prayer was still on. But for some reason, the mage attack still went through and hit me for full damage. It's not supposed to do that. So yeah, that's, that's a weird leak thing, I guess. Well, <laughs> I, can't even, I don't even have time to do the Gmall thing. Dang, 50 points for doing a Fosani Nightmare, wow. That's hilarious, because Calfight Queen gives me 125 points, so uh, hopefully next lead, Jaggy does a, a bit better job balancing some of these point tasks, because Fosani Nightmare is worlds harder than freaking Calfight Queen, and you only get less than half the points. Let's do a quick progress recap through the bank before we sign off. Uh, what do we have, uh, all the God Wars stuff? In this setup here, a bludgeon. I can't believe we got two Elder Mauls and a Kodai, dude. From Chambers. We got like half the Chambers drops, Dragon Claws, and Sexual Legs. This is probably the most cool, coolest item I've never gotten before that I really am happy to have used. The Dagon Hide top and bottom. Useless in the main game, but absolutely amazing. Uh, this league was I mean, like super fun to use. Elder Maul was actually really fun to use as well for a while. Scythe on the last day to uh, spice things up, that was really good. If I had the Scythe early on, damn dude. PVM would have been like twice as fast, honestly. This thing is stupidly busted. This league. But happy to have used it for a bit. I still haven't gotten a T-Bone league, so maybe next league we can get a T-Bone. Uh, full Crystal Armor, first time rushing the Fernand Bow on any account, so this was really good to, to use and see. That was really nice. Uh, what else? There's really not too much else. Inferno Cave, you know, usual stuff. Can't believe I got the Jaw too. Giant Pickaxe. And no pets this league. Haven't got any new pets, but a dupe omelet. But yeah. 2.1k total as well. But that's a wrap. That is a wrap. This league for me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to wrap up League's 3 series. We got the Metamorphic Dust. It took two years since the first League of trying and waiting patiently for Zaya to be reopened to try and get it. And I believe we are the first one to have gone the Metamorphic Dust and the pet together. Uh, there are now multiple people since then that have it now. But yeah, I believe we are the first. So it's really cool. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you really enjoyed this series, definitely give this video a like. I would highly appreciate that. And consider subscribing so that you don't miss on future videos. I'll be back on the next grind on Mr. Iron Bar and Hardcore Group Ironman. 
uh, series as well in route to raids 3 so there's a lot of crazy content coming up so definitely don't miss out because we'll be going really hard on those type of grinds coming up so i'll see you soon take care and bye bye